Hi, welcome back to my Sony Vegas for Beginners. I think you've gotten yourself familiar enough now with the, with the interface that I don't have to explain every little click and drag that I'm doing. Let's try and speed things up a little bit and get, get somewhere now. Uh, okay, let's, let's try um, uh, messing around a little bit with crossfades, transitions, and fade-ins and fade-outs. Let's bring a clip down here. And I'm just going to trim off the end a little bit. It, what it is, it's my son walking down the road. And at the end, we've got to pan up to some trees. And right there is where I want it to stop. Zoom in on my timeline. Trim it back like that. Okay. Let's bring down the next clip. Put it right against the first clip. Now what we're going to have here is a straight cut. Oh, well, there it is. It pans up the trees. I mean, it cuts to that. It's kind of a rough thing you might not want. So what I'm going to do, as you've seen before, take the second clip, drag it over top of the first clip a little bit, and then we're going to end up with a nice little crossfade. See? So there we go. Um, now, we want this to stop maybe about there. So we'll stop our video, press the S key to slice, and then we'll grab what we didn't want and just right click it and say delete. You can also press the delete key. Okay, what else we got here? Let's grab another clip here, not that one. Uh, here we go, here's the one where I waited for them to come around the corner. I'm just gonna quickly, because you've already seen me do this, trim it down to where they actually appear and trim it off. Bring it back, put it against that clip. Again, we're going to have a, 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 a stop, like a direct uh, cut. Might not want that. Now in this case, because I've got some clip to work with here because I trimmed it, what I can do, see there's where that man comes behind, out from behind that tree. What I can do, now if I, ca if I just drag that clip on top of the other clip, I'm kind of going to lose the part where he appears from out from behind the tree. He's already, you can see if I back it up, he's already there before the clip is fully in view. So I kind of lost some of the footage that I wanted to keep during this crossfade. There's a way you can, you can fix that. We'll bring the clip back to a straight cut. You see? And then, you see, because we have the end of this clip, because we shortened this clip, we trimmed it, we have actually got some stuff to work with here. So why don't we trim it so that it's a little bit before he goes behind the tree, or comes out from behind the tree. That way we've got a little bit of stuff to work with here, so by the time we get to the full clip, he still hasn't emerged from out behind the tree yet. See what I'm saying here? So I used a little bit of what we trimmed off to create my crossfade. All right? So two ways of doing it. One, drag the clip over top of the previous clip, or use what you trimmed off of the clip to do the overlap. Now, if you're at the beginning of the clip here, if, that's, if this happens to be the beginning of the clip, you can't do that because there's nothing more there for you to use. All right? You'll, you'll experience that. You'll see what I mean. And I'll show you that later. So let's just leave it like that. So now we've got him walking, them coming out from behind there. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Let's just, a little bit of bumpy footage here. So we'll back that up and we'll leave it about there. Slice it and play on until we see where we want to go. Let's speed it up just a little. Get down to here, stop my video with the space bar, use my S key to slice again, and now I've got this loose piece here. This is the part, this is the stuff I don't want. So I can either press my delete key, or I can right click it and say delete. And then I can bring this up over here and do a nice little crossfade onto that there. See? Perfect. Now, 
let's say I want to fade in and out because the beginning of my video just kind of starts like that and the end of my video kind of just ends like that okay so that's kind of not very tidy so to fade in you take your mouse and you place it over the upper corner you, when you get your mouse to the corner there you get that little quarter moon quarter pie kind of look uh, icon there once you get that click your mouse and drag in and you'll see what you're doing is you're creating a little fade in okay and it's the same with the audio whoops stick it over the corner there get that little icon drag it over create a fade in okay the length of the fade in is going to depend on the length of your little thing so if you want it shorter then drag it shorter okay perfect same at the end here we are at the end you want it to fade out you take the corner of your clip drag it in create a little fade out same with the audio and you can do them independently you don't have to do them the same and now we've got a a fade out all right so there's a there's a basic exercise for you bring in some clips down from your hard drive sticking them on the timeline do some cross fades and some fade ins and fades out, fade outs now let's suppose you want to change these basic cross fades into some more exciting transitions. Now that one I, I kind of like just the way it is. Okay, but this one here, it kind of goes to a completely different scene, you know. So let's let's go for some other transitions here. Click on your transitions tab and look down the list. If you click on the type that you want and then just hover over top, you'll get the you know sort of what it's going to do I'm going to choose well just for simplicity we'll just choose a clock wipe okay it's kind of a an old uh, overused transition but you know that's the thing you have to realize is that you don't want to overuse these so what I did there is I took my mouse I clicked on the transition I want to use I dragged it down on top of the spot where I want the transition to be and it's going to have to be over one of these parts where you've got your clips overlapping, okay? You can't put it here because there's no there's no transition there. You put it there, you let go of the mouse. You're going to get a dialogue. Uh, for now, um, don't worry about that. Just exit and just accept the defaults. Now we're going to get a clock wipe. All right? So it's as simple as that. And if you want to try another transition, then just uh, get the one you want, drag it down, and put it over there again. And it will replace the clock wipe with the new transition. Accept the defaults, play it back, and there you go. Now, you know, you, you got to be careful with these things. You can over you, you can, you can really overuse these sometimes. You don't want to use them too much. I rarely use transitions. I just use crossfades most of the time. They, they look nice, they're, and they're not... You know, you, you don't get in your face and make people sick. So there you go. But anyway, that's how you do it. Um, we'll stick a clock, uh, a fading in and out effect over this one here. Drag it down. Accept the defaults. And there we go. So that's just how you do it. Now, the th thing you're going to notice as you start doing these kinds of things is that your video is going to start looking choppy. Now, this is looking choppy anyways because it's a screen, screen capture and it's you know not going to look perfect um, it's just for illustration purposes but on your screen when you first put your video on the timeline it's going to look great it's going to look nice and smooth as soon as you start adding these effects these crossfades these titles these uh, you know adjustments you're going to see things start to get choppy i don't want you to worry about that because all that is it's your computer trying to work to create these special effects live as you're playing back the video these things take a lot of um, computational power uh, to render out in real time and sometimes your computer can't keep up so don't worry if something starts to look a little bit choppy uh, just realize that it's your computer uh, not being able to quite keep up with the, creating the transition or the effect that you're trying to, uh, to try to produce one thing you can do is come up to this um, up to the top of your preview window here where it says uh, when you hover over it, it says preview quality don't 
preview at the highest quality. So when it says best full, you're going to be pre previewing it at its full quality. And that's a lot harder on your CPU than, let's say, if you go best half. It's not reducing the resolution of your video as a whole. It's just taking your preview and it's, it's, you're going to be previewing your video at a lower resolution so that you can get a better idea of the motion and the tra how the transitions are going to look as far as how smooth they're going to look. So there we've done some fade ins, fade outs, some cross fades and some transitions. Uh, we need to stop here and move to the next part uh, where we're going to do some titles, some music and uh, some track layering if we have time. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helping. We'll see you in part four.